Hello, and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything, including the weird and the exotic and the, the nerdy stuff, as apparently we are going over here on, on the screen. We are going to talk about George Lucas Lucas's, uh, what his ideas of the sequel trilogy would have been about. Um, and just in a summary, I think it would have been much more interesting. It would have been a lot more original uh, than what we got, <clears throat> which is just the same old, same old. <clears throat> but anyway, his, uh, ori his original plan for the Star Wars trilogy was the, uh, well, Disney's uh, first trilogy was to base it off of George Lucas's plans for the next set of films. But we've never actually known what that story would be until now. In a new book, Lucas has revealed what his initial plan for episodes 7 through 9 would have been. If he's coming out with this book, then that tells me right there that he's not uh, very happy with what's going on with the movies. Otherwise, he wouldn't be putting this out right now. He knows that fans are upset, so he's saying, well, this is what I would have done. Uh, so rather than focus on the next generation of epic conflict between the light side and the dark side of the force, the movies would have been about something much smaller. It would have been about the microorganisms that form the foundation of the universe. <clears throat> he was saying that there's this world of creatures that operate differently than we do. I call them the wills. And the wills are the ones that actually control the universe. They feed off of the force. So, it talks about here where, yeah, the wills and the microbiotic were kind of calls back to that midichlorians, which a lot of people uh, don't like. I don't have a problem with the whole midichlorian thing. Um, this kind of, it kind of reminds me of... Um, What in the world? I didn't say hello, Bixby. <laughs> My phone decided to turn on and say, I'm listening. Okay, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I didn't have a problem with the midichlorians. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you why. During the prequel era, era there was more knowledge about the force and what was going on so there wasn't so much mystery of it because there was more mastery of it but in the original trilogy four five and six uh, a lot of that stuff is now considered myth and so now there's a lot of mystery surrounding the force so i didn't have a problem with the midichlorians um it reminds me of the the book series the wheel of time uh where you have the different ages and there was an age of uh, I forget like wonder or something like that a lot where there was technology and and they knew uh, everything about the the one power as far as the female side and the male side and harnessing the power into objects and you know they were very sophisticated and then things happen. They went into another age. The wheel turns. And all of that stuff became myth and legend. Um, and people didn't, you know, a, a lot of explanations and details were lost. So that's what I see with Star Wars. So the prequels, I mean, we, they were at the height of their knowledge of, of everything that was going on. Uh, but then that all changed. The wheel turned. Um, and they were no longer around with this information. So the force became more of a mystery. And with these uh, sequels, uh, Lucas would have gone into even more detail as far as 
uh, the force and uh, how it works. And I don't know. It would have been new. It would have been new. It would have been interesting um, instead of just the same old, same old stuff. And uh, it's sad, but he says down here, he says, if I had held on to the company, I could have done it. And then it would have been done. Of course, a lot of the fans would have hated it, just like they did Phantom Menace and everything. But at least the whole story from beginning to end would be told. Um, well, that's sad about Phantom Menace. I thought the movie was fine. I got it. I understood what it was. It was supposed to be just an, like an entry into the, the series. It was supposed to be lighthearted. It was supposed to be fun. I didn't have a problem with Jar Jar. I accepted him for who he was, just a silly character. Um, but you still had, you know, the Star Wars feel to it when you had uh, Darth Maul. I thought it was great to see Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan and, and see that, that team. There was just, we got an introduction to what the Old Republic was and how the Jedi Order was. So there's a lot about the Phantom Menace that is good. The pod racing was, was, was fun to watch, too. I mean, come on. Just because it had Jar Jar in it doesn't mean the whole movie was bad. Um, Attack of the Clones? Yeah, well, Anakin was whiny, but so was Luke, so... <laughs> I... I didn't have a problem with the prequels. Um, I didn't. Um, I thought with uh, episode three, Revenge of the Sith, um, I think they could have done more as, as far as um, showing uh, Anakin going to the dark side. It was more kind, it was more like, what have I done? What have I done? It's like, now he turns into the zombie. It's like, I'll do whatever you say, Master. So, I don't know. I didn't quite like that part of it. But um, at least with the Clone Wars animated series, we get a little bit more of Anakin and um, how he's kind of tapping into the dark side here and there so you can kind of see how he's kind of not going the way that he's supposed to be going so if you see that it kind of helps maybe uh lengthen things out it helps show you the friendship between obi-wan and uh and anakin that was described in episode four but that all aside what do you think about uh george lucas's uh original vision for the sequels I personally, I mean, it's it's his story, it's his universe. Um, I I want to see. I would have liked to have seen it, and see what he would have explained, but we'll never actually get to see that. Maybe he'll write the books. Maybe he'll write books, and uh, they they won't be considered canon, but they'll be considered legends. But you know what? Legends used to be canon. Uh, at least for from what I understand, and I don't know. That's where my heart lies. It lies with the the legends, rather than this new stuff that Disney is doing. It's like Disney is like, well, Lucas, thanks for your uh, help and everything. Um, we'll take it from here. Uh, we don't really care what 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 you think Star Wars is. We're going to treat it our way. And that's kind of sad. That sucks. But uh, it is what it is. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. Um, if you don't like the idea of what Lucas had, what do you think would have been a good idea? Um, which I think is weird because there's been other stuff in regards to Lucas's sequel trilogy that sounds like a contradiction to what this article is about. So... Maybe it was a little bit of both. Who knows? Um, maybe you think the th uh, the Thrawn tr trilogy uh, should have been uh, the sequels. Uh, I thought the Thrawn trilogy was great. 
Uh, they, when you read them, they read like a Star Wars movie. Just when it was going from scene to scene, I could almost see that wipe going from scene to scene with those books. So, I, they were good. I haven't, I've haven't read them in a long time, but I do remember that I enjoyed them. Uh, maybe you prefer Star Wars the way it is now, um, and that's okay. Um, I don't, but. <laughs> But whatever, whatever your fancy is, um, let me know in the comments below. Um, be interested to hear what you guys think. And uh, let's talk about it. Let's ramble about it. And then uh, there'll be more videos. And we can uh, ramble about those too. Uh, and as a matter of fact, if you have any ideas of some things to ramble about, let me know in the comments. And... Uh, We'll, uh, we'll explore that possibility. Until then, I will see you on the next Rambler.